Is rubbing your eyes actually bad for your eyes? I'm gonna show you why it is and what you can do about it. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist, and on this channel we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can get these videos as soon as I make them. Is eye rubbing bad? I'm going to show you why. Let's look at this video. This is a dynamic MRI of a healthy volunteer who's rubbing his eyes. It's crazy. Look how much pressure is being put on the eyeball itself as he rubs. So that is what happens when you rub your eyes. That's actually a dynamic MRI. So it's showing a patient as they're rubbing their eyes and it's pretty gruesome when you look at how much you're actually distorting your eyeball when you rub them. Well, first, what are the reasons that you are actually rubbing your eyes? There's a bunch of different reasons and treating the underlying cause is often the absolute best way so that you don't feel like you need to rub them. I know it is so satisfying to get that knuckle in there and just rub your eyes, but it's actually not that great for your eyes. Usually untreated allergies, difficulty sleeping, like sleep disturbances, contact lens irritation. Sometimes if the glasses prescription is off or there's a vision disturbance, people will rub their eyes, trying almost to clean the eyes or clear up the vision. They feel like it's a cloudiness issue when it's actually, it just needs to be your glasses updated. Dry eyes is another big culprit for eye rubbing, as is something called blepharitis, which is inflammation of the eyelids. Often if you have a cold or an upper respiratory infection, like a viral conjunctivitis, that can make you rub your eyes because your eyes just feel so irritated and rubbing them feels really good in the short term. Now, why is that? Why does rubbing your eyes make them feel so good? Well, all along the lash line, you have 30 to 40 meibomian glands. These are the oil glands. They are located near your upper lashes and your lower lashes, and they secrete the oil for your tears. So when you are rubbing them, you're kind of doing a very, very aggressive lid massage, and that's the way to get the oil into your tears and it just kind of lubricates the eye. It soothes the eye for the short term. It makes them feel a little bit better, but it's not lasting. So that's why you shouldn't do it. And I'm going to go through some of the reasons that are really bad for rubbing your eyes. Now, short term eye rubbing is absolutely not going to cause any problems. If you're just rubbing extremely occasionally, just in the morning, when you wake up, you rub your eyes, not a big deal. But if you are someone that's a chronic eye rubber, you've been doing it for years, it can actually cause vision threatening problems. So as you saw from that video, rubbing your eye actually changes the shape of the eyeball. And what it really changes the shape of is your cornea. It puts a lot of stress on the clear dome shaped covering of your eye called the cornea. And when you rub your eyes chronically, you can actually distort the cornea and cause weakening of the tissues of your cornea. And that's a condition called keratoconus. Keratoconus is when the cornea starts to thin, it weakens, it bulges, it uh, takes on more of a cone shape and the cornea actually is starting to degenerate a bit. Now, this is not super common in just all eye rubbers, but it tends to run in families. So if I have a kid in front of me and their parents have keratoconus, I am much more aggressive about making sure that these kids don't rub their eyes. How do I do that? I treat the underlying reason why they're rubbing their eyes. Now, keratoconus can be treated with collagen cross-linking. Typically, it needs a rigid gas permeable contact lens to achieve the best vision. And in the past, you had to do a corneal transplant to get absolutely perfect vision. But now that we have collagen cross-linking, we don't end up having a lot of patients that need corneal transplants, but it's still a possibility. So it's a big reason why we try to discourage eye rubbing. Second, we talked about why eye rubbing feels so good, but it also sets up this inflammatory cascade. So what happens when you rub your eyes? The meibomian glands release the oil, but 
histamine is also released as well. And you guys know you probably, if you have allergies, you take antihistamines. That is probably why you're rubbing your eyes. You might have allergic conjunctivitis. And what that's doing, that rubbing is setting up a cycle and it releases more histamine. So even though the rubbing feels good in the short term, it causes more histamine to be released, which makes your eyes feel itchier and worse in the long term. So that's why we try to get rid of anything that you are actually allergic to, get allergy tested. You know, for my own son, getting rid of all the wool rugs in the house, changing everything to hypoallergenic on his bed, pillows, sheets, putting an air purifier in his room, just being really mindful helped substantially. And then I treat his eye rubbing with eye drops, with an over-the-counter eye drop. It just went over the counter last year. It's called Olapatidine. The brand name is Patidate, and it's a fantastic eye drop. Basically think of it, it's an antihistamine. It helps with all of those chemical mediators. And so at the first sign of eye rubbing, I would absolutely put this eye drop in kids. It's approved for children two and above, and especially in those kids, uh, parents who have keratoconus. Third, you might have something in your eye, and if you are rubbing it because it feels irritated, you can actually worsen everything because you're causing a scratch on the cornea or a corneal abrasion, or you can even embed the foreign body even further and deeper into your cornea. So if it's something that's really irritating your eye, absolutely, please go see your eye doctor so we can check it remove it and treat it. And then last, and for some of you all, it might be the most important, cosmetic reasons. When you rub your eyes, you break the tiny little blood vessels underneath the eye. So it can make your eyelids look darker. The under eye area can look a lot darker. If you have untreated allergic conjunctivitis or atopic dermatitis, then it can really cause this kind of crepiness to your skin and almost like a leathery appearance. I don't want that and I have had that in the past when I haven't been treating my allergies well. In addition, it can make your lids lax so they just aren't as tight. Again, not something cosmetically that most of us want. So it's another good reason to not rub your eyes. Now, when you rub your eyes, why do you see lights? When you are rubbing your eyes, you're actually raising the pressure in your eyeballs, even if it's just for a short increment. And that is going to diminish the blood flow to the retina and your retina perceives that and that increased pressure triggers the retina to signal in the same way that light does because your brain doesn't know the difference and you might see those flashing lights or even can get something called an entopic phenomenon where you're actually seeing your retina and your retinal cells when you rub really, really hard. That's not a reason to do it, but that's why you're seeing those lights. Now those phosphines go away once you quit your eye rubbing, but again, you saw from this video that you can be stretching your eyeball and effectively hurting your retina if it's very, very severe. Now, how hard is too hard? Rubbing your eyeballs with these knuckles, that's too hard. Really rubbing your eyes, it should be like when you are just washing your face and using a washcloth, that gentle lid motion that you're using, that is sufficient for rubbing your eyes. If you're rubbing any harder than that, it is too hard. And what do you do instead of rubbing your eyes? Well, we treat the cause. The main two, allergic conjunctivitis, mentioned that already, dry eyes. When you're on a screen, you are not blinking as much. Your oil glands are not releasing the oil into your tear film. So your eyes are getting dry. They're getting uncomfortable. So making sure to take breaks, follow the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break where you look at something 20 feet away. Use artificial tear lubrication when you are on devices as well. And start even if you need to using a prescription medicine for dry eyes. Something like Restasis or Zydra can be of great benefit. Omega-3 vitamins, there's been some mixed studies about whether they help dry eyes, but it's certainly not going to hurt. So there you go. Is eye rubbing bad for your eyes? It absolutely is. And that video kind of shows you, you don't want to misshape your eye like that, do you? If you have any questions, comments, please drop them below. I read everything. I try to answer it all. If you have questions or comments about next video topics, I'd love to hear them as well. Until next time, it's good to see you. Bye-bye.